Hello YouTube, welcome to the VIP series, and today we're going to do something we've never done before. We're going to change the VIP series from an account that is focused on Star Expedition and isn't really getting the most out of its Asmodel the Dauntless. Instead, we're going to do away with Lord of Fear Asmon and we're going to embrace Asmodel purity. Since the Turbo series, the VIP series has taken a back foot, and I would like to tune this account exactly in a direction to maximize my Asmodel because it's fun. And for that, we're going to be using a new hero that you have probably never before seen used in any remotely optimal way in this game, probably in the last two years. The hero is Azrael. Oh yeah. Not only is this one of the cheapest heroes that you can pick up in the auction house if you want to get an A tier, he also is probably considered the worst and most underused Transcendence hero in the game. Now, what you're probably wondering is, how on earth is Azrael going to be good on this account? Well, it all comes down to his core. When an ally dies, he's going to get Distant Blessing for all remaining allies. This buffs your holy damage, your control immunity, and your speed. And if that's upgraded to the max level, that is a whopping 25% holy damage every time someone dies. Either way, with doing that, we can whack about 100% holy damage onto our Asmodel, assuming he is the last man standing. On top of that, whenever Azrael dies, he continuously hurts opponents and has some really oppressive abilities. Not to mention when heroes die, that already buffs Asmodel, the Dauntless. So we're kind of leaning into a very aggressive suicide team. And what's also cool about Azrael is his tenants are Freya and Vulcan. Now the Vulcan is less interesting, but a very good tenant of that. But it's the Freya I'm excited about, because we'll want Freya on the lineup anyway. So we could theoretically build an entire team of Destiny heroes, which could be very cool, and we are approaching that point. And to find room to squeeze Vulcan onto the account, the only thing we need is 5 million Crystals of Transcendence, which we are so close to having because I have these cores right here and all we have to do is open them. On top of that, we need a little bit more Destiny stuff to take ourselves further and we need a full core for Azrael. Fortunately, we have the Brave Spirit Tourney event, which if I max, it gives us absolutely everything we need. Not to mention, I'm getting an absolute boatload of cores, Stellar Shards and Crystals of Transcendence, which will help us to Destiny these heroes as well. So, folks, let's do all that. But before we do, there is one thing I need, because I'm just a little shy on Destiny materials. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fight this dude right here. So let's hit him up. Let's fight him. We've got a little team here, which has been recommended to me by my moderators and fellow viewers in Twitch. And this comes from a guy called Will. So Will is rocking a lineup, which basically it's energy feed with Asper, but we've adjusted it slightly because we're fighting a ranger. We're going to use Taboo Seal for 90% damage against rangers and 50% skill damage. But we're following the rest of the key concepts of his lineup which make an awful lot of sense. We're going to be using Halora and Freya, both faster than the Aspen. We also have Alomac faster too. So two of these heroes need to have Demon Bell. So we've got Alomac with a Demon Bell, and we've got Halora with a Demon Bell as well. That's just maximizing our energy feed into the Aspen. And then we have Freya. She's going to be wearing a Lucid Mirror. She's always going to be fastest as well. She's fantastic. She's in like a, a home as well. So her speed's ridiculous. And then on top of that, we're going to be running Elena to help pad out the team, give us much needed dodge. And then we're going to be running a Natalie there too. Every hero here is either running Demon Bell or Elusive Mirror, which in some way, shape or form is energy feeding the lineup and maximizing our number of active skills from Aspen. And imprints? Absolutely. Our imprints are armor, damage reduction, and block. The one person we need to double check is Aspen. He's running armor break, crit damage, and block as well. Yeah, let's go put this to the test. We're going to go ahead and use this team against the Void Invasion boss. Number three, the Ranger. All right, let's go to three times speed, and hopefully we can live against the attacks that we're taking. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, we are on the early stages bosses. This ain't going to be too difficult. Uh, we've got Bending Will triggered on our support heroes here. Aspen staying alive. We've now got the active skills from our team. There goes Alamac, active skill there from Aspen, killing the boss immediately. And now we've got pure energy feed coming in. Aspen ready to smack again. He should get some overspill damage if we're lucky. Let's see here. We've lost Natalie. That's not an issue though. 
That's completely fine. There's Halora, there's Alamac, and now comes Aspen's active. Okay, just one-shotting one guy. That's not too terrible. He's not getting overspilled, but he's dealing with them fine. Our survival is excellent here. And yeah, we have plenty of shields keeping us alive. So yeah, we're really, really good. Just got to let Aspen come and finish this up. Yeah, perfect. Really clean. So let's go to the next one. And let's fight. So looking at a similar sort of thing here. Taunt there on that guy in slot one. Putting out our pings. Getting ready for active skills across the team. Of course, that's going to energy feed our Aspen. Allow him to do the same. There you go. Good stuff. Already one-shotting the backliner. Perfect. And now we just got to deal with the little guys. This should be really easy. Not liking Halora's health right now. <laughs> she needs a heal. <laughs> She's gained shields, though, which is good. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, Freya tops up those shields as well with that second active skill. Very good. Ooh, you didn't crit there, Aspen. That was a bit real peak. It's gonna have to try that one again. Blue HP is fine. Yeah. Whoa, actually, Halora's lost. Oh, and she's back up. My word. That was terrifying. You see Halora? Lost the bending will, lost her shields, and then immediately reset, fortunately. Oh, okay. Aspen getting a lot of spill damage onto that guy in the back line there. We should be seeing a one-shot coming from Aspen here. It should be very clean. There you go. There's the overspill damage. Fantastic. Guy in slot one. He's got nothing to stop us. He's horrified. He's locked out. He's got no energy. And he's dead. Perfect. Okay. And let's see if we can go three for three here. Difficulty five. Let's send it. And this is getting me a load of Destiny materials as well which is going to help us to upgrade our team even further. No complaints from me right now. This is really, really good. So, oh my word! No! I can't believe it! We were trolled! It happens. It happens. Sometimes you low roll. Aspen got killed. That was really unfortunate. It was bound to happen at some point. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Sometimes you don't get the high roll. Well, we'll just wait to reset. And we'll try that one again. In the meantime, let's go ahead and max out this event. Either way, though, we walk away with 18,000 Aurora Gems and a bunch of scattered Spirit Vein Shards as well. So we've managed to cut our backspace down to about 230, which is more than enough to do 2,000 Heroic Summons. But, plot twist, we don't have 2,000 Heroic Summons. So we're going to need to use our contract to Starry Gems. Fortunately, I've converted Starry Gems that we had and gifted some from the Turbo Series to make today possible. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and spend all of them on this week's event. So we'll go to our value packages, go to our storage gem packs, and we're going to pick up all the storage gem packs that give us these training room passes. So we're going to buy these top two, and we're going to buy the middle two. And that's going to burn everything, leaving us with only 383 left, but it gets us a ton of heroic summon scrolls. So if we look now, we're on 1,479. To top this even higher, we're going to go ahead and buy out the Look Relay, as that's going to get me a bunch of scrolls as well. So folks, give me a second whilst I purchase this. All right, with the Relay bought, I am also going to go ahead and buy these top two packs here in our value packs, these $200 packs, and I think that's going to tee us up nicely for this week's event. Okay, thanks to all that purchasing, we've got ourselves some Starry Gems to convert across, which is nice, and we should have tons of the tickets to get started with this week's event. Yeah, 245 nice so what we can do as well is claim some of these rewards here for the spending so we'll grab this artifact chest here and i am going to need cause of origin if we're going to be building as rael so we'll grab that through and now the thing we need to get started with here is the summons we have 2199 after all that spending so let's blast 2000 of these out and get ourselves some nice rewards what five stars are we getting well let's go ahead and find out kicking things off here pretty quietly actually just augustine rolling in not too exciting. Dark Arthur Doll now showing her face. Okay, two five stars. Very average. I'll take it. Let's move on to the next batch. See if that's good too. Ooh, double bomb. Triple bomb. We got ourselves King Barton, Seer, and someone else who I've forgotten, but it was three five stars. Pretty average. Not amazing. Not terrible. Next batch. Let's see what five stars we get from here. We got a fade. We got Luna. 
She's come early. We got Michelle there too. So that's three heroes. And that's it. All right, next 100. Oh, the hero list is full. Okay, well, let's go ahead and clear things out. It seems you've just clogged things up with four stars and three stars, I think. So if we do an upgrade to five star, we might actually be able to blast out another 100 straight away. Sure can. Yeah, it was on the cusp. All right. Any good five stars coming from this one? Aiden? Balrog? That's two. Okay. So let's hit it and see what we get. Aiden straight away again. Nice. That's another one. There's a Sarja. Okay, cool. Fat Moo. What else are we grabbing? Bade? Okay, we're getting a lot of crappy heroes, but you know what? Crappy is still something. Another batch? Let's see. We get a Michelle. We get a Lutz. That's two. And that's it. Let's get rolling with some more summons then. What five stars are we getting this time? Not a lot by the looks of things. Yeah, it's pretty dead. Just a Lutz, a Vessa, and a Karma. Wow, okay. Three instantly at the end. That's not bad. Another 100. What are we getting from this? Okay, we get a Freya, we get Luna, we get Jara. That's three already. Nice. Rogan. Man, you forget that hero exists. <laughs> and Heartwatcher. <laughs> like, Rogan for me is just this weird fever dream. I'm like, oh yeah, that hero that used to be really broken. <laughs> I just sometimes forget he's even a hero in this game. Right, let's do another 100. We get Azrael from there. And it looks like it's just Azrael. Oh, wait, no, we got Flame Strike. We got Mim. Ooh, he's quite rare. Eloise as well. Very cool. Very nice. This next 100, what are we getting there? Wow, Sherlock, Amavor, right at the start. With a Bade, a Balrog, Luna. So that's five five stars. Nice. Anything else? Yeah, Corpse Demon Sigmund, make it seven. Holy moly. Let's drop another 100. What are we getting from this? Anything better than seven five stars? I mean, that was really good. Maybe we just get an unlucky streak now and we get the rare avatar. I'll take that. Oh, nope. Double Blood Blade and a Dark Arthendor. Literally five stars back to back. And OD even came at the end there. So let's see what else we can get. We're on a roll. Mickey? And is it just going to be Mickey here? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. All right, next up, boys, what are we getting? Fairly quiet so far. Got a Lutz. An Aiden. And that's it. Right, not getting much from this next one. A Nosuke comes through there. Just him by the looks of things. Nope, there's Olivia. There's Bloodblade. Not bad. Let's go again. We're definitely getting a Luna from this one. There she is. We get Ice Blink as well. Carry! Nice! That's so rare to get. And we get a Queen as well. The odds of pulling a carry at the moment is 0.004% per summon. Woo! That was cool. So at this point, we have just 500 more summons to do. So let's chuck them out and see what we get. We get Edgar. Another Eloise, an OD, a King Barton, and that's it. Next 100. We got ourselves Gusta. We get another Luna. That was nice. She was early. An Ormus, a Seer. And that's looking like that's it. Just 300 left to go now. What are we getting from here? We get another Luna. Wow. Dude, that's crazy. And a Kamath. And a Margaret. Second to last one now. We got a Rogan. We got a Waldeck. Two really good early heroes. We got a Margaret as well. Not bad. Good food. We get OD. We get Cruz. And that's it. Solid. And so far, we've managed to get 65 five star heroes. Chat's hoping for the 69. We get Honor Guard for 66. And it's looking like that's all it's going to be. 67 with Walter. And that's it. That's all of our summons done. Let's go see how many Lunar copies we managed to pull. We'll claim our rewards through here too. They're going to help us with the event. And for Lunar copies, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, plus four in the bag. That's 10 Lunars. Whoa! The VIP series has done 30,000 heroic summons in its time. That is crazy.
The next thing we need to do for this week's event is go ahead and fight in the Ring of Bravery. What we have to do is send in Luna to battle this puppet. We've got ourselves the Leap Forward. Is this Endless Moon? It is. Cool, I got that one right. Uh, round two, it's going to do the Violent Web, so I assume it's the Dodge. Yep, and then, of course, he's going to do something else. What's he going to do here? He's going to do Leap Forward again, so we'll hit him with the Endless Moon, and that's him dead. We're going to do this 20 more times, grab some rewards, and uh, yeah, things should be easy. Okay, we've done our 20 fights, and we've got our win streak, so let's claim our little win streak king. And that puts us on 380 of these tickets. So I think it's time we got started and see if we high roll. Be nice if we did, but we probably won't. We need to get the most insane high roll in the world if we're going to finish this without needing to buy the $50 pack. That's 112. That's 120. That's 141. Nice. And we don't have enough to do 10 bombs. I'll do singles, but the likelihood that we get a high roll is extremely slim. We're getting lots of 12s, but none of them are triples or doubles. So it looks like we're going to have to buy that $50 pack. I expected it. Pretty standard. And there it is. The final $50 pack bought, which means we should be able to finish this one off pretty easily. There you go. Exactly 10. And that gets me 121 points. So we're left with 10, which is really annoying. <laughs> but I guess we'll just chuck them in and we'll just, we'll just get some added bonuses for it. All right. Let's claim our rewards then. So we get an artifact chest from here. We're going to get ourselves core of origin from here. Sublimation chest from there. Artifact from here. We've got upper limit here. So what are we going to go with? Hmm. We'll get a core of origin. We'll get another core of origin. From this. Ooh, baby. Now we're cooking. I think we get scattered spirit veins. I think we get two lots of Scattered Spirit Planes. Ooh, but then again, we're going to need Auroras to break to Polystar. So we're going to need a bit of both. I'll need 13 for Polystar. Then I'll get Divine Power Aurora Gems too. All right, there it is. Fantastic. Tons of rewards rolling in here. We've got all this as well, which is a heap of cores and Stellar Shards and Crystals of Transcendence, which puts us on 6.6 .6 million Crystals of Transcendence. That is massive. Before we go building stuff for our new account, I want to go into the Void campaign again. Reset just landed, so we can go and try again against this boss using our team. Hopefully, Aspen dodges, doesn't get killed, because Balance Strike obviously makes him a little squish, but I'm hoping we get a lot of damage here, and we're able to beat this. So fingers crossed we get it. Looking at Aspen. Don't you die on me, buddy. Stay alive. Okay. So far, he hasn't been hit. So far, so good. Our heroes are attacking. There's the energy feed. There's Alamac popping up. There's an active skill. <gasps> Nearly killing the boss, but not quite. Uh-oh, we've lost Halora. That's a little bit scary. Oh, no. Aspen. What was that, dude? Oh, okay. Try again. Try again. Come on, buddy. If this doesn't work, I have a backup plan. Okay, Freya's active's gone. There's Halora. There's Alamac. Now there's Aspen. No! He didn't crit! Oh! The pain. The horror. Okay, Aspen, you get a second chance at this, dude. Holy moly. Alamac and Elena are still alive, so there is a possibility we do this. Oh my goodness me, he didn't crit twice in a row. Dude. Right. I have a little plan to beat this. We're going to use some of those Stellar Shards we picked up. We have 4.3 million Stellar Shards, which is enough to take Freya to level 120. So I'm going to improve Freya, which will allow us to get another level in the Destiny Temple. So let's go ahead and upgrade this Freya to level 120. Uses a lot of my Stellars, but now we can back out and we can make her Destiny improved. If, and it's a big if, we improve her active skill 
and her basic attack. Right. So you know what that means, guys. We need to go and check our sublimation chests. We have two lemons and a melon. That's enough for the basic attack. So we'll pop these out for the basic, and we'll get that upgraded. You might be thinking, MK, if you lost your mind, why are you doing the basic attack? Well, let me show you why. Because if we go in with the basic, all we need then is the active. And if you know anything about the heroes on my account, I have heroes whose active skills are sublimed, who I can un-sublime. We have right now a Fairy Queen Vessa. She has the active skill on her sublimation. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the Celestial Island, we're going to enter the Cloud Island, and we're going to take Vessa out of the home for Freya. That means I can then go and double check she's out of everything else in Arena, and now we can place her in the Evolution Cube for the replacement. So what I'll do, I'll go to our Vulcan, and we'll give him a switch. And that should not only get us a Doom Terminator Vulcan, it gets us everything off of Vessa, which we can then put into our Freya. There you go. And now we can get her destiny leveled. So we've got ourselves Origin upgraded now on our Freya. And we probably want to upgrade Halora to another level now too. So we have two heroes that are upgraded in core. And there we go. That is Chaos level 100. Which means I can go now to the temple. And I can level the temple up. Getting us one more level here. Which is pretty cool. Now if I had just a tiny bit more Aurora gems. Which I absolutely can get if we beat this wave. We can then put Polystar onto our Aspen. But we need to just beat this organically and hope for the best. So Aspen, we need you to crit here, buddy. That's what we're looking for. So just fight this boss and win. Come on, man. You can do this. So far. Freaking dead! No! Ah, we died. Guys absolutely devastated holy moly okay we're gonna need to fight this enough times to get the high roll on this boss and when we do we will have enough aurora gem shards to convert and get ourselves two more and you've seen it guys we have 11 11 of these juices sitting here already so that would take us to 13 which if we go to look at aspen right now that is enough to get him with Polystar upgraded. So folks, next time on the VIP series, we will absolutely be beating this boss here, getting that Aspen to another level if we want to, but more importantly, we're going to do some big changes where Aspen is out of the account and we're bringing in Azrael, purely to make this the perfect Asmodel account with some really cheesy synergy and just to lean and capitalize on that progress. And also, thanks to this week's event, we have got ourselves a ton of Treasure Train coupons. So we are sat now with pretty much 300 of these Treasure Coupons. So we're going to wait for some real big events to come in where we can get ourselves some really fantastic stuff from the treasure train because when it gets to this level up here 150 we get ourselves guaranteed items so we need to wait for something really clean cash them in and do that twice however until we beat this boss in void campaign i don't want to get rid of lord of fear aspen i want to keep him in and just try and get that beaten for now so if you want to see what a Lord of Death Azrael does as an accompaniment hero to an Asmodel the Dauntless, probably two of the most underrated and probably worst heroes you could go with. Like when you look at main damage dealers, you've got Mockman, Vulcan, Aspen. The one that really gets overlooked but is still kind of good is Asmodel. And then when you look at like just generically like hated Transcendence heroes, I mean, everyone's top three definitely has a Lord of Death Azrael in there. So that would be really fun to see what that does. So folks, fingers crossed we get ourselves some really cool progress. I hope you enjoyed the new direction for the VIP series. And building an Azrael, it just seemed fun and intuitive. And if you want to see stuff that's probably more optimized for 
strategies and using obviously big treasure trains and things like that and and leaning towards having a bunch of giant killers that's what the turbo series is for but i just thought obviously you guys know about standard strategies of using vulcan and lord of fear aspen so why not use my accounts as ways of showing you really unusual ways of playing the game and that feels like exactly what i'm doing so folks if you enjoy this and you want to check out more stuff like this hit that subscribe button because of course more content especially from a lord of death Azrael, is coming to you very soon so i'll see you next time guys thank you for tuning in have an amazing week and happy idling Thank you.